watching the record. Okay. Well, well, well. Hello, everyone. It's Beverly and MSP. <laughs> I made it. She made it. Made she made it. it. She made it. Yes. Oh, Lord. I feel like someone has given me a million dollars. Let me make sure I am live. <laughs> I be doing all this talking and ain't a bit more live. Oh, there it is. One showed up. Okay. Check out my phone. All right. Are you Look who I'm with, y'all. Yeah. Beverly Black. My first collab. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're, here. we're doing this. We don't know what we're going to be talking about, but we're going to talk. We're going to talk about something. Yeah. Let me get it over here where I can keep up with y'all. Yes, it's live. All right, we're in here. Come on, uh, Carter's Eat and Angela Critter. Y'all better get in here. See, six people are watching. Okay. Y'all smash that like okay. button. Okay, yeah. You need to say something. We need to hear from you. Charlie, where are you? <laughs> Ashley, where are you? Sandy, where are you? Oh, she's doing a roll call, y'all. Linda Singleton, where are you? Y'all come on in the room now. I'm trying to wait till somebody get in here before I start asking some questions. Never, never. <laughs> Watch out. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. <laughs> hey. Never, never. Awesome women love both. Thank we you. love you too. We are here. She you made sure it to my are. house. I don't have a dog on thing. <laughs> nothing cooked. Nothing cooked. You don't smell nothing in here but candles, okay? And it smells great. <laughs> it does. I am sure so sorry, does. but we did Bam's 60th birthday party last night. And we us seniors parted a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah. But it's all good. Hey, sweet and juicy. How you doing? Welcome to the live. You see, I got LSP here. Hey, sweet. <laughs> we are here. We're going to figure out something to talk about in a minute as y'all keep on coming in. Oh, let me share it out. Yeah, I just shared it. I forgot to do that. Yeah. Put it on Facebook. Okay. Back to YouTube. Y'all, please share the live out for us. We would really appreciate it. And I thank everyone who has taken the time and come by and visiting with us today. Who going to sit with us and chat because we're going to chat today. Chit and chat. Yeah, we're gonna sit and chat and talk about her adventures in the Great Smoky Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> talk about our adventures, y'all. Right? No, sweet sis, this is my first time meeting her. Yes, I call her mom. She uh -huh. says, "What well, I'm a daughter She's from another, another mother." mother. Yeah, but look and at she her. is so beautiful. <laughs> This is my baby. Aww. She looked like she should be in my family. Yes. And I love that. I, I love too. it. I oh, I wish she could have stayed with me, but that's all right. She, she, she can stay up in the mountains. Next time. Maybe, yeah. One of her trips here, she just come and stay with me, and I can spoil her the whole time. I'm ready for that. <laughs> I will do that. Absolutely. Yes, I can spoil her the whole time. Sweetie, Miss Beverly, you gonna cook something for us, baby? No, today I'm not cooking, baby. Um, like I said, I did a birthday party last night for my cousin. He was 60 after Bible study. So you know that was about 8 30. <laughs> so we supposed to get out of Bible study at 7 30, and they kept going on and on. So anyway, that's another story. But by the time everybody got here and we got situated, it was late. And by the time I got to sleep, it was after 2 o'clock. 
So, yeah, no, I she can't. said, are you going to cook for me? Yeah. She said, were well, you going to cook just for me? Yeah, I had planned on it. She had planned, I had on, planned it, on it. it I it really had happen. planned on it. I wanted to have a spread on the A B when uh when she came in, but it just didn't happen. Didn't happen. That's okay. It just didn't happen. That gives me all the more reason to come back. You better come back. I'll be back. She <laughs> <laughs> better come back. back. Y'all, yeah, you know, you, I cannot put in words what this means to me today. This is such a blessing, somebody I've been wanting to see for such a long time that God has allowed me to be in her presence. Yes. It's, it's a blessing. It it's really a blessing. Is. Even though I don't have no food for her. That's okay. <laughs> but it's a blessing. Okay. Amy's, here. Amy's here. I think Vernell came in. Hey, Vernell. Yes, Vanelle, you see, LSP is here. She's in my home right with me. Here, yes. Hey, everybody, and special, what is, our special gift has arrived. LSP's in the building. Hey, Miss Beverly, I can see a smile from ear to ear. I am, I am so, so happy. It's like Christmas time. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to me. But right now, we're going to say a little short okay. prayer. Let's touch and agree. Yeah. We're going to touch and agree, and we're going to say this prayer together. Look. Will y'all look? Will you look? Ain't nothing like it. Not Ain't that. nothing like Not it. That. I thank your mama for blessing me with you. Aww. <laughs> so I thank you. I will you. let her know. Okay. Let's yeah, pray let's now. Pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you. I thank you for blessing my dear, dear daughter, LSP, to come and to step into my home. You, Lord, you know in my heart what that means to me. Money, nothing can buy how I'm feeling right now. And I thank you and I give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Lord, we've been through some rough times. But you say, joy cometh in the morning. And this is my joy. And I thank you for this peace and love. A true friend, Lord. Someone who have never seen me before in person. But she showed more love to me than people I'm, I'm around every day. I thank you, Jesus. Because you don't know where your angel's going to be at. You don't know where that ram in the bush might be at. And this has been my angel and my ram in the bush. I thank you for everyone who's here at this live today for blessing me, for being here, for listening to LSP and myself as we sit and chit chat. Lord, I ask that you would bless this this live in a mighty way that it will bless others. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And thank you, Jesus. Amen. And yes. thank you, Jesus. Amen. And thank yes. you, Jesus. Yes. I get to hear it from yes. you. <laughs> yes. Y'all, let's let's get it go. Let's go now. Okay. Um, uh, Amy speaking to never never. Renell, God's timing is always the right time. He knows what you need when you need it. He sure does. Amen. He sure does. I'm going to give us LSP space so she can tell you about her little excursion in the mountain and what she's been seeing in the Great Smoky Mountain and about her cabin. Is, are you in a cabin? I am in a cabin. Okay. In okay. a cabin. It's a, about a two-story cabin. Oh, okay. And we got um, the view. I'll post some uh, videos and pictures soon, y'all. But the view, I wake up every morning to see the mountains. Just wow. Paint, uh, paint glass window, mm -hmm. you know. So um, just really been enjoying the cabin. Came down the hill and uh, took the Smoky Mountains Parkway. Okay, up there. yeah, yeah. I showed that a little bit. It's when pretty up there. It's so beautiful Ooh. up there. And the mountains, just... Especially watching the clouds roll in. That's right. been my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. Watching the clouds roll from all the way from the back all the way to us. And you can feel the rain as it comes. Because oh, you know, most people would look at it as it's raining every day. It's like, oh, it's going to be horrible. But it's I've not. enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I've enjoyed it's it. not. Now, snow. <laughs> snow, I don't want to be here nah, for snow. I don't want to be here for snow because it's hard getting up and down. Yeah. But, but the rain is beautiful. I, I love to see the rain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sandra. <laughs> Is Sandra in here? Sandra just came in. Yeah, there she is. Hello, Sandra. How you doing today, girl? Whoop. Oh, never, never. Say, whoop, tell it. Tell it. <laughs> she knows I love it up here. 
The mountains said, are just my stage. She said, tell it, LSP. Joy come in the morning. That's right. Joy comes in the morning. Hello, sissy. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise, Lisa. <laughs> hey, hey, Lisa. Welcome, welcome. Look who's sitting on my couch. Right here. <laughs> right here. I'm on the couch. Yes. Been all through my house. Yes, yes. she has. Got the whole tour, y'all. <laughs> this place. Woo. We could have had to meet up here. This is thing so big. <laughs> yeah. It is. Ooh, we may have to do it just, you just know, a little. Uh, just a little, little one. Yep. A little one. Just we can do one. it. Bring in the, the close circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Lisa, we missed you. You, you would have, I made it complete for us, girl. Yes. You could came up the mount. <laughs> yeah, come up on the other side. <laughs> Lisa, quit all that cussing. Oh, <laughs> Lisa. you see it? She said it. Lisa's in there. Oh Lord, she mad. Don't be mad, Lisa. So, yeah. She's your sister, but she's my daughter. That's so right. that's the difference, Lisa. Yes. She had to come home to see Ma. You had to see Ma. Let's get Ma in there. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah. yeah, she had to come home and see Ma. Can y'all hear me all right? I didn't even think to check my, uh, see if I turn it up. I, I guess you can, because y'all are answering fine. She can't stand us. <laughs> she can't. <laughs> Lisa, come on now. Thank you. Thank you. Nobody. I can't stand the both of you all. You all know I'm right here giggling with you. You are my sisters. We sure are. We know it. The sisters. Uh-huh. We're going to have to travel. Well, I'm coming to North Carolina June. In June, I think. Yeah, we're traveling to North Carolina in June. So uh, maybe I get by your way, Lisa. We can never, we can hear you loud and clear, Vernell. Okay, okay, Vernell. Real as real can <laughs> be. I love this hood. Oh, Ooh, nothing like nothing it. Nothing like it. Real Sorry, real Lisa. Sorry. Don't be too jealous. Tell me, man, you can <laughs> come, everybody. Visit her. Now, my door is open. Y'all can come on and visit me. Uh, I don't know about staying in the guest room because um, LSP doesn't claim that. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> If I'm here, no guest room. <laughs> she's she's claimed that, so. There you go. There we go. <laughs> we're back to normal. Mm -hmm. Rashad's laughing at his TV, so we're back to normal. Uh, Miss Carter said, touch Beverly's arm for me. Is it, is it real? Is it real? <laughs> it's real. Yeah, She's it's real, real, Lisa. She's real. <laughs> it's a my name is LaShonda. That is my first name. Ooh <laughs> It's a beautiful name, I'm but you still LSP. I'm LSP. Yeah. I'm LSP in these streets. But yes, my, my first name is LaShonda. Any questions y'all got for us? Let's see. Yeah. You got any questions for me? Huh? You got any questions for me? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what do you think about the new coach? Oh, the Lady Vols coach? Yes. I haven't heard about her yet because, you know, I've been in the mountains. But yeah. um, I didn't want to see Kelly Jolly go. Yeah, I feel like she needed one more. I did too. I, I felt mm -hmm. like she was right there. She was right there. And why do they do that when they get right there? They want to get rid of mm -hmm. them. Yeah, I felt like she was probably the closest we'll get. And people on the internet keep saying, y'all just want Pat. I'm like, of course we yes, want we Pat. Do. Of yes, we do. Of course we do, but we can't have Pat. So, mm -mm. Nope, yeah. it'll be another, it won't be another Pat. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, but women's basketball, mm. I've been loving it. The, um, yeah. I still haven't finished watching the championship game from this week. We had to record it, so I'm gonna check yeah. that out. Sandra said, Lissandra, beautiful name. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Pat Summit, I used to see her every Saturday morning. She would come in Walmart shopping. She just, just shopping. Just, just shopping, like, talking to everybody, just like mm -hmm. we're sitting here talking. Wow. If you didn't know who she was, she was she'll say, My name Pat. Mm -hmm. That's it. And you know, to people going by, didn't nobody bug her. Or, mm -hmm. Cause we were used to it. It was just Pat. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went to visit her grave. 
Did you? I did. Back in October, it was it was a beautiful sight to see. Oh, I mean her headstone. You know, I know it's humongous. Her basketball and her. Yeah. yeah, it was nice to be able to pay respects. Where's Where is she buried at? Ashland City, like going back back where she used to live on the other side of where I am. You know, you go back. Oh, Nashville. it's back there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, City. okay. Mm -hmm. Cause I know I, I didn't remember nowhere around here. Nope. No. Okay. They took her, body. They took her took back her home. home. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Never, never went with me. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. She said it was awesome. It was awesome. That's good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sandra said we could have uh, a slumber party. LSB and I were talking a little bit. About yeah, that. a slumber party. <laughs> yes, yes. We can do that. Mm -hmm. We can be all over the place. Oh yeah, and, and get up and make biscuits and gravy and some grits, uh, country ham, sausage, and some bacon. Mm -hmm. I'm not a vegan. You vegan people gonna have to go <laughs> y'all on your own. <laughs> Critters will head that up. Where is Angela? Yeah, where is Angela at? She'll we need to see her. Let me see if I can text her. Yeah, she's right there. Any more questions, you all? Do y'all have any more questions for LSP and myself? Because we just like two little kids. We just, just giggling and having, having a good time. <laughs> we doing it today. Hi, Rochelle. Welcome to the live. Look who's here. I was here. about to ask about you, Rochelle. Oh. Oh, LSP is here with me. LSP and Chet, nice to see this. Uh, Vernell, hey, Roselle. Roselle? I think she's featuring Rochelle. Rochelle, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Uh huh. Uh, sweet and juicy said, love the energy, honey. <laughs> Oh, it's no. off the I chain. think this is the first of many. I will be back. <laughs> you should have seen me when I say, I thought I seen some red. I wish I had my camera on. I you know I neither like one of us had a camera. And I said, oh, she's <laughs> you. I was so happy. We I was happy. like a little kid. Yeah, wow. And we just squeezed and that hugged hug, each other. It feels just like what you see. It oh, oh like I forgot it. to give y'all a hug. Yeah, oh, man. oh, here's the hug. And I love you. I love you. I, that hug was it. It was it. I've been waiting for that hug. <laughs> when I hug her, we'll know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? We're going to plan something. When, when can you get away again? Never that a few can. people can come yeah. and we'll have like a little slumber party. We should plan that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah, we can. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because we can sleep all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have our smaller meetup and then you know, we'll get around uh, to that big one. Shoot, my bed big enough for three people. <laughs> three or four? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. Where is Nikki today, Miss Beverly? She had a situation on her job. Um, what is Nikki? The executive director of SOAR, S-O-A-R, is a nonprofit organization that um, helps special needs. So they had a situation because she was going to come and meet uh, LSP. And then she texted me and she said, Mama, we got, we got a crisis. So it was something with one of the house managers. So anyway, she got to take care of that. That comes first. So, but she said she's going to watch, you know, the live. Yeah. So. So, which I understand. I right. understand. Business first. Business uh -huh. first. Yeah. And um, Sunday, yeah, it was Sunday at 6 o'clock, the board of directors met for SOAR, and she got a huge blessing. Oh, okay. I ain't going to say it out. Right, right, I ain't going right. to say it to y'all, but. Yeah. Go ahead, sis. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to say no, it out loud. I, I don't mean minutes. no harm, but that right, I can't, can't say, say out everybody. loud. No, no, I can't say that can't out loud. Everybody. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah, she was happy. She, she was happy. <laughs> <laughs> she was very, very happy. She was very happy. <laughs> she called. She texted me. She said, "Mama, they passed it." And I said, "Oh, what a blessing!" Uh huh. Yes, it is. Hey, how do we meet Sandra? Right here on YouTube. Uh mm huh. -hmm. That's how we met. That's how we met. And, uh, Gio, was it that part? Was it Gio? Gio? I don't remember. It was Gio or either uh, Carter's Eat. Mm-hmm. Was one of those, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Back in the day. Back in the day, we were in live streams from <laughs> yes. morning. Yes. All day. Ooh, going from we here did. to here. 
Yeah, we're raiding them. We're raiding them. We're raiding them. We're raiding them. From one to another. Yes. And that that was fun. That was that was a good time. Is Lisa back with hers? Huh? Lisa's back in with the Carter's Eat account. Oh, okay. Okay, there she is. Hey, everybody. Uh, love it, right? How did? Yeah, Sandra was wanting to know how the two of you met. So keep that amongst yourself, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't put that out in the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I can't put that one. But it was a blessing. It was a huge blessing. It was a blessing, and all you can do is thank God for it. He always opened doors. Mm -hmm. But you know that old devil been busy here lately. He been. I, I said. Is he? It, is the devil giving out bonuses to his demons? Or something? Right, because they're working hard. What but. you talking about? Left and right. I mean, boom, boom. You get up from one thing. Boom, boom. It, yep. He, he. It must. He must need to get his quota in or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we keep showing him who our well, God uh -huh. is. Thank right? you. Thank yep. you. Our God is an awesome God. Yep. He takes care of it. Vernell said no. Uh, keep them all. I read that. Yeah. Okay, y'all come on with some more questions. Because this is just an app. You know, we just app live. We just doing it as yeah, it, it comes. Mm -hmm. We just having a good time. We just glad to be in the presence of each other, which That's is a blessing. Right. Nashville and Alcor. Yep. <laughs> Finally made mm -hmm. it. Finally Had you made ever it. been to Alcor before? Through. Through. Okay. Through. Okay. Never been. Before I met you, I wouldn't even known the name alcohol. Really? Mm -mm. I knew Maryville, uh -huh. you know, Blount County. Right. I knew the names, but yeah, alcohol. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. You don't know about alcohol school? But I do know about your football team. Okay, I heard that say <laughs> I was you about to say, know. I learned about your football team. I, yeah, I did know of alcohol before you. Damon, my oldest grandson, team. he has three rings from him when he was in high school. Mm -hmm. Three rings. And honey... They be wearing something. I said, what are y'all wearing all them big college rings? rings <laughs> yeah. Yes. They be having them rings on. And um well, I can't I can't tell that here. <laughs> it's another situation like that. Anyway, um another one of Alcor great football players we know. I'll tell, remind me to tell you about that. Okay. Uh, and he, uh, he's moved to Nashville. He's building a 20,000 foot house there. Oh. All on one level. Mm -hmm. Randall. Oh, that's a nice Randall ranch. Randall I know that name. Okay. Who yeah. just left? I think Sandra. Huh? I think Sandra's <laughs> leaving. You have a wonderful day, yeah. Sandra. Yeah. Oh, she had a great day. She that, had a great day yesterday. Okay, good. Okay, she's not. That was God at Mr. Jimmy. Tell the boss, tell her boss, she deserves it, and it was time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Talking about Nikki. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, she deserves it because I mean, she gives, gives, take care of everybody. Sometimes I work. I don't even know how she finds the energy to go. Sometimes, but she, she does it. She does it. Lisa, I did not, but next time I will. What? I just brought me. I just couldn't wait to get here. <laughs> I don't even have food, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have food. And that's sad. That's really, really sad. Because I, in my mind, I had wanted to prepare a spread and have it across the, on the um, counter when she got here. But... Um, Mr. Satan had other things in store. Now nah, you ain't you ain't gonna be cooking all that food today. You ain't gonna be doing it. But that's all right. That's all right. We got something else planned. Yes. We're we gonna do. have one and she's gonna get to eat. Absolutely. Uh who you who you all talking about? Stop the whispering. Ten and ten, we got it. Yeah. It's not polite to whisper, is it, Lisa? No. Uh, I can't stand you. <laughs> <laughs> can't stand you. We sorry, Lisa. Satan had you running in circles, but he doesn't know uh, these praying. Thank you. He don't know these praying folks. Mm -mm. He don't know. Uh uh. And uh, we had Bam's 60th birthday party last night, and he had he was so blessed. And then looked up. He done left his phone. 
He left his phone here. He left his phone here, and I was going to tell Nikki, "Well, calling me, telling me." <laughs> I always do that. Like, let me call my phone and see if I can find. Yeah. It. Well, but he evidently, he, uh, he came. He he came back after we went to bed because when we got up this morning, the phone was gone. So we asked Rashad. We said, "Did uh, Bam come back last night?" He said, I, I, I took care of it, Mama and Nana. I she took said, care of it. Uh -huh. I said, why didn't he hear the doorbell? He said, I, I took care of it. I took care of it. And so that was good. That was, yes, that was. that was really good. And then he'll say, I got you back. I got oh, you back. So sweet. <laughs> yes. He's, a, he's tall mm -hmm. and got a deep voice, but he's my little angel. Yeah. Uh, Elise said, good afternoon, Miss Beverly and everyone. Hey, Elise, how you doing this afternoon? Hey, Elise. Lord, I need to pay my phone bill. It just came up on the thing. Oh, Lord. How long are you going to be there, LSP? I leave tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I've been here since uh, Sunday. Was it Sunday? I think I got here Sunday. Yeah. But I want to come back and actually go to church. Oh, good. Yeah. I would love for you to go to church with me. Yes, I love your church service. Oh, I do. Oh, we're going to plan that. We're going to plan the church yes. service and we're going to all, about 10 of us. Mm -hmm. You think 10, 10. 10 will be all fit in here all right? I think you can make it work. Yeah, about 10 of us. Because I got blow up beds and everything. We can do it. Mm -hmm. We can do it. Okay. Okay, right. we got something plotting, y'all. Yeah. Plot, plotting, plotting, planning. Yeah, we got something plot. Uh, Jimmy used to take care of those mundane things like, yeah, I know. Yeah. He he took care of all the bills. He did. But I have it fixed now where they, um, where they, they let me know when it's due. Because I wasn't used to paying bills. Tell them about when... That's one story you told when he had you start paying the bills. Was it? Was it you said? I can't remember the story now. Which back in the day you were supposed when I, to be in charge. When of I the was bills. in charge of the bills, made a mess of the bills. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> Shoot! Oh. I even got the house payment, two payments yeah, behind. I messed it up, and they done sent a letter, and they were getting ready to foreclose on Man. the house. And Jimmy said. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> so he never let you take care of the bills again? No, 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 <laughs> no, no. And um, anything in my name, he didn't pay. But if it had his okay. name, if it had his name on it, he paid for it. So I got smart when I was getting credit cards. I was getting them getting in his. <laughs> wow, that was smart. Yeah, that was a bad move too. Because then he could see what you were doing with your card. No, nah, he found out about nothing because I didn't tell him I had the credit cards. Oh, okay. And I was running around here having a good time. Mm -hmm. And it caught up with me. Yeah. See, I ain't always been this person. <laughs> yeah, you know, we all, we all have a past. I ain't all always have a been past. this person. And I told y'all before, uh, money and bills ain't... Uh uh, mm -hmm. I don't want to be. I don't want to be in, in control of nobody's money. Like you know, you be in those meetings. They said, "Now we got to vote on the treasure." Not me. I ain't touching nobody's. <laughs> I'm telling you right up front, not me, because I can't even control my own. Okay. Mm -hmm. My daughter is here, and and she's in charge of stuff. So, um, and she about to make some changes too. Yeah, she. Can. She don't play. Yeah, but Nikki's good at with yeah. money. She's good with money. So she got to know where that money's going, what's the purpose of it, why are you doing this. And I mm -hmm. thought, oh, I'm not used to that. Gotcha. Mm -mm. I'm not used to that. <laughs> no, I just spend it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I spend it very well. <laughs> what else is there to do? Now, Mama, you can't do it like that. You can't, you can't do it. We're going to put everything on auto pay. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's what somebody just said. What? Denise, that you put it on auto pay uh -huh. so you don't have to even worry. Yeah. About it. That's what she, yeah. she said. We're putting everything. And that's what she, I mean, that's what she's done. I'm listening to her. Mm -hmm. Good to see you too, Elise. 
It's, oh, yeah. Because I was thinking, never, never. I'll just pitch my tent right there. Right there in that little <laughs> corner. <laughs> when it's the summertime, I will sleep You outside. can't sleep out there with all that the traffic, traffic back oh, there. I'd be fine. I'd be fine. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to sleep out there with that traffic rolling. Uh, but Nell said, Nikki, like her daddy with, oh, yeah. She's like, she, yeah. She's like her daddy with that money. Jimmy could manage some money. Now, back in the day when we were first married, you know, he he never just went out and bought stuff. He had to think about it. He had to see uh, which account it had to come out, how much would be left there. This He went through all that rigmarole, which was good, which was good, but I would have just... Went on and got what I wanted and been done with it. But that, nah, -uh, that wasn't Jimmy. And I learned from that, too. That helped me to learn. But as he got older, he would start spending money more than I did. Really? Yes. He was, he was buying stuff left and right. He, he changed completely. Mm -hmm. And and I got to more like him where I was saying, I don't think we need to do that. This right now, uh, uh like that car, mm -hmm. I w I would have never bought it. Really, mm -mm. never bought but, that car. You know they say in a relationship that one is the kite and one is the string. Mm -hmm. Sometimes one is flying high and the other one is grounded, yeah. and it looks like y'all just would kind of trade that off. Yeah, See, who needs yeah. to be the kite right now? Because what well, and and Nick was saying, she said, "What well, Daddy wanted you to have that car. That's why. That's what it was." She said, "Daddy really, because I I just couldn't understand why he put all that money in a car in a car." You know, mm -hmm. I've been satisfied with uh, what you call a max money, anything, you know, mm -hmm. just a little small car. Even a key, I wouldn't have cared, but no. Mm -mm. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. I'll never know how to use all the mess in that car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but thank God people around me who knows how to use it, though. Yeah. Uh, Sandra said, we have our monthly bills automatically withdrawn from our account each month. Just a thought, Miss Beverly. Yeah, I'll, Nikki has done all hours like that. That was my phone bill, which was uh, on Jimmy's line because he was a veteran and I, and I got his discount. So AT&T lets me know it's time to pay my bill. What is today? Oh, it was due on the 8th. That's <laughs> Yep, the 11th. Yeah, yeah, it was due on the 8th. <laughs> what, the day the 11th? Mm hmm Okay, Beverly. Oh, Lord. I'll pay it after. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll pay it this evening. Uh, what the do the two of you have planned for your evening? <laughs> well. <laughs> She's probably going back. To her cabin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going back to the cabin. I love She's not by herself. Oh, she That's got... enough. No, I, know. I, I know what. I ain't going to say. <laughs> yes. I ain't saying no more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're going to do this live stream. <laughs> hang out for a little bit after that. And then I'm going to go on back up the mountain, y'all. <laughs> y'all understand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, Lord. Some people go on vacations by themselves, but not most. <laughs> yeah, I've done a few. Have uh -huh. you? Mm -hmm. I went to Seattle by myself. Wow. And I went to Los Angeles by myself. Ooh. Yep. And in Los Angeles, I planned this trip where I started at, um, right outside of LAX, and then I went down to Hermosa Beach, and then mm -hmm. I went down to Santa Monica Beach, came back around and went to one more beach, and then I flew, flew home. So I went to like three different hotels. Three beaches. I planned that whole trip. Wow. Loved it. Loved and it was all right by yourself, not? Mm-hmm. That's, that's great, actually. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm a loner for the most yeah. part. Yeah. But I also like to be with people. I like my time with mm -hmm. people, and then mm -hmm. I like being by myself. But traveling by myself? No, I never travel nice. by myself. That mm -hmm. would be different. That would be completely different. Well, I was with Jimmy so long, so yeah, we went everywhere together. Yeah, you don't have to travel. I didn't, tr you know. have to travel by yourself. I don't know if I could travel, but I heard I heard women doing that all the time, though, mm -hmm. and and they enjoy it. So yeah. it's something different. So I may try it one time for one night. One night. <laughs> one night. <laughs> one night. Mm -hmm. Uh. 
Mr. Williams is like your, your Jimmy. He's very uh, temperate and well-planned person. Okay. Um, their goal, telling folks business. They're go what? I guess she's saying mama telling folks mm -hmm. business. Okay. Yeah, I love telling folks business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the smile said it all. I mean, we understand. Ta hey, Tasha. And for everyone who came in the live and I didn't say hello. Hello to everyone, and I'm glad you're here. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. What you waiting on? Go ahead. See, now today you got to see LSP and myself. Mm -hmm. You see, you, uh, you've you been seeing us on different live. LSP on her live, me on my live. But today we are together in the same room. You can't beat that. Cannot. Mm -mm. You cannot beat that. Any more questions? I know y'all got some. Y'all knows it like I am. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's getting a little cloudy. It's getting ready to rain it's again. Rain again. Mm hmm Denise say, Denise, are you still in here? You definitely. Denise wants to come to the uh, sleepover. Oh, she does? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Good, good. I don't know where Linda is today. Linda and... Uh, Probably on some creek. Uh, uh, fishing. Somewhere fishing or looking for a looking bird. For an eagle. <laughs> Catching a perfect eagle. Did you see that picture where the snake was coming out the water? She was fishing, and like she was playing with the snake. Mm -hmm. I think it was the day of the eclipse, because she I was saying, I think he wants to see too or something. I said, that. all I had to do was see that head one time. I've been that gone. Be I've been gone. She had about three or four little pictures of him and that head bobbing up. Oh, no. Mm-mm. She's a true outdoor person. I can't, uh-uh. Yeah, nah. I can do a little bit, but I'm more of a glamour. I, I like a little glamping. You know, yeah. camping. Yeah. You don't have to sleep on the grounds. No, I ain't doing that. You got to have the, uh, the hotel. Or oh, hotel. Oh, 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 oh. You know, <laughs> the Sheraton or somebody. <laughs> she said the Sheraton. <laughs> Hi, I'm Angela from North Carolina. She's in here. <laughs> hey, Angela, look. <laughs> Look, Angela, we are here together acting a fool. Hey, Ron, how you doing? Hey, brother Ron. Stick us all under one roof and we'll be worse than girls on a sleepover. And we'll be up for the whole night. Yeah, I I, I won't even take my night meds. I'm, if I don't take my night meds, I can stay up all night too. So that's how I'll be oh, yeah. able to hang with y'all. Um... Ron said, speaking to Angela, he's speaking, everybody's speaking. Everybody's speaking. Yeah, we we ain't too old for sleepovers. Not at all. We probably had the best kind uh, of sleepovers. And then we'll get in there and we'll cook our little meals and sit out on the back, on the, on the patio. Mm -hmm. On the patio. On the patio and watch the cars nice. go by. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put up a little video later on and show y'all my patio as it, uh, it's been well we finished it off well it's not completely finished but I think I want to uh, screen put the screen in around it. yeah yeah screen yeah. and porch will be nice. yeah I yeah. think I want to do it and on the side uh, Ashley last night was telling me about because uh, they had the the slab there for my grill mm -hmm. and they got the gas coming out for it. And I was wanting one of those little refrigerators, you know, uh, that you can put your wine and beer and your drinks. But I was gonna have to take out a cabinet in the kitchen to do it. Mm -hmm. And Ashley was telling me, she said, you know they have the grill with a little sink mm -hmm. and the refrigerator all in one mm -hmm. that you can get and put out there. Yeah. What she tell me that for? Yeah, that will be perfect. She, little outside yeah. kitchen, outdoor kitchen. Uh, she sent me one from uh, Wayfair mm -hmm. that she found on Wayfair. She sent me a picture of that one. But then I went to Lowe's and Home Depot. Eight, six, and eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars. But Wayfair was three thousand. They oh, were okay. the cheapest. They okay. were the cheapest. They were three thousand. So I said, I'm thinking on, I still may end up just putting that refrigerator in here. It'd be cheaper for be me to put it in here, in here and just get the grill out there. So. 
I'm going to wait and see. I'm going to wait and see which route I want to go. But I sure would like that, the grill and the refrigerator outside. Mm -hmm. Then. Just get it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she ain't no hell. I am not. Nikki probably going to come home and ask me to leave. Because I'm like, just get, get it. Just get it. Just get it. Just yeah, well, want it a little that would nice. be a nice Mother's Day gift, too. Mm -hmm. Nikki can get Nikki it. Nikki can get it. Nikki can get it. <laughs> Just get it. Yeah, that, thank you. Elise. You you hear that, Nikki? Yeah, that'd she be a nice Mother's it. Day gift for me. You get it to her and give it. Uh huh. Her. You don't want more the gas grill anyway, cause you know I I don't do gas. Mm -mm. I want charcoal. Your daddy was from the charcoal school, right? <laughs> so since you want gas grill, uh, you can hook your mama up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, that, that would be a nice little kitchen island uh, outside. That would be kitchen. nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Nikki's got to get it, Marilyn. <laughs> I'm I'm volunteering Nikki, Nikki for that. Yeah, she's spending Nikki's money yeah, today. I'm Nikki's uh huh. Money. <laughs> oh, Nancy said, Miss Beverly, I'll bring some muscadine wine. I was waiting for you to see that one. Oh, I hadn't seen it. Wait a minute. Did, did I tell y'all last week about that muscadine wine from North Carolina? You must have. But tell us again, because I obviously <laughs> forgot. Anyway, a friend of ours uh, brought a bottle of wine, and he was saying, you need to touch, touch this, Lord. You need to taste this. It's really good. I didn't know it was muscadine. And I took a little taste of that, and I said, oh, this is good. It tastes like muscadine. He said, it is. This is muscadine wine. Looked on the bottle, and it said, from North Carolina. That was some good wine. I've never had muscadine wine. You haven't? I'm not really a wine drinker. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you, oh, you like the hard stuff. Yeah, give me <laughs> two, three shots of vodka and leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot, but you know, just enough. Okay, you like mm -hmm. you, you like the hardcore. Nah, I I'm a I'm a winer. You said a little wine. Yeah, little I like wine. the wine. Yeah. yeah. And some Modella sometimes. Some Modella is not bad. Okay. A Modella? <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Okay. What do you think that is right there? What? The credenza. The black. Right yeah. Uh-huh. A credenza. credenza. Uh-huh. Yeah. What do it's you something think? else? Yeah. It's other than a credenza? Uh-huh. A bar? Yep. Buy <laughs> out the bar. Go ahead and look at it. Let me go check the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Go check her out. She's on a mission, y'all. Oh, let me turn you. Uh huh. Mm, Stella Rose, I do have one occasionally. And then look. See that you? I always come to this side. Yeah, that's that's the big girl side. <laughs> Just a little bit. We're not trying. To that. That's Uh-huh. It looks just like a credenza, but it's a wine credenza. I never would have guessed. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's a wine credenza. It's nice. Mm-hmm. I said that way. Uh, the certain ones that come. Okay, the certain ones that come who don't drink anything but Kool-Aid. <laughs> you know, don't drink anything but Kool-Aid. Mm-hmm. They don't have to see it, so they don't be bothered with it. But I, I, I entertain, mm -hmm. and people don't want Coca Cola and Not Sprite all the, all the time. So I have whatever someone is looking for. I try mm -hmm. in moderation. Oh, things in moderation. Just yeah, in moderation. in moderation, and have a good time. Mm -hmm. Just don't you ain't gotta make a fool of yourself, right? Like I remember daddy when people would go back when when I uh our house was right next to the road, like up there. That's why I like hearing traffic. Oh, okay. And he would sit on the porch. He'd had a screened in front porch. And and the guys would walk by and Daddy said, just look at that wine bender. A wine bender. <laughs> a wine bender. <laughs> Not a wine oh. Uh-uh. Just look at wine. that wine bender. I like that. All he does is drink that wine. 
And then that was that 99 cents wine back then. Mm -hmm. That cheap wine. That cheap. Yeah. That rock gut. That yeah. Oh, Lord. Thunderbird. Was it Thunderbird? Thunderbird yeah, you was got that? One on oh, no. you got one I on me. I don't know. I think it was there. Thunderbird. We only live once, just do it. <laughs> Sandra, uh huh. Yes, LSP. Uh, yes, you did a good story. Uh, Blackberry is really good too. Oh, yeah, why? Blackberry. Uh, what's the name that you uh, that you just said that that was, was in there? Stella Rose. Stella Rose has a, a good Blackberry oh, wine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. LSP says, give me the lemon drops with a uh, backup. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Renelle. Not time for no wine. <laughs> you got to be cute and proper. I'm sipping. Sip the wine, you know. And I'll leave that to the ladies. Don't be like and talk about the latest book that you read. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'll be outside remembering the tent. Yeah. <laughs> Let y'all have your party inside. It's a book talk. They in there talking about some books. Talking about books. <laughs> the latest book you read. Mm -mm -mm. Boone's Farm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> y'all remember Boone's, Boone's Farm? Farm? Yes. 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 Hey, Denise, in the 70s when I met Jimmy, uh, he had just came back from Vietnam and he was at Fort Monroe in Hampton, Virginia. So we used to go down to the... Uh, down on the pier at the beach, down in that area. And we go, he would get um, Coke 45 Ooh. and ripple and get the little red cup and you put half a half in there. All you need was one cup. Cause sure. you, Those two things? Huh? Ripple and, and Coke, Coke 45. 45. Okay. Mix it together. You mix it together. You couldn't walk when you got up. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> you could not walk. And you didn't pay $2 for it. Man, that was what you call it. Take it to the head. Yeah. Take it to the head. Ripple. Coke, uh-huh. Coke so what's Ripple? A wine? R Ripple like was a cheap wine. Okay. Now, yeah. uh, what's his name? Um, Fred Sanford. You know, okay, he I remember that. that. I thought oh, I heard that. That was during that time. Okay. That, that was during that time, Ripple. Ripple was like 99 cents then. Mm -hmm. It wasn't much, and, and they would mix them together. Oh, my wow. goodness. Uh, Nancy said, glad you are a whiner. Never a whiner. LSP said, LSP says, give me the, I read that. Mm -hmm. Boone's Farm, Strawberry. Strawberry Boone's Farm. I remember mm -hmm. those days, Elise. My brother called it dessert. Handed the bottle around. <laughs> That's the bottle. Oh, the ripple? Yep. Uh, yeah. So was it a sweet wine? Like, yeah, it was mm -hmm. a sweet wine, but the uh, the beer of the Coke 45 mellowed it out. Mm. And it, it was a good combination. And it'll sneak up on you. Mm -hmm. You didn't real. oh yeah. Gotcha. Like Jimmy, well... A lot of people call it a hunch punch. Okay, I remember hunch punch. Jimmy used to, at Christmas, he would make that. Mm -hmm. Now, Jimmy is a recovering alcoholic. He right. hadn't drink, drink, had a drink in over 30-some years that or more. But he loved to make that hunch punch at Christmas and see everybody act stupid. Did they eat the fruit? Oh, yes. That they, fruit was the best part. Yeah, I, oh! When it done marinated. Yeah, you try to tell them people, though, if they're Ooh. not good drinkers, don't drink. Don't eat the fruit out of the hunch punch. And the only time he would do it was Christmas time. It was at Christmas. He would make a big jar of it. Mm -hmm. And he made the best that I ever had, really. Mm -hmm. And it would keep you drinking. And my son-in-law's, you know, they, they would say, JB, this ain't nothing. This, yep. this tastes like Kool-Aid, JB. This ain't nothing. 30 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, absolutely. And then we say, we got to play Santa Claus. We can't play Santa <laughs> No. We can't play. A hunch punch. Oh, that hunch punch. But back in the day, we used to have them house parties, you know, where everybody come, and mm -hmm. you come in, your hair pretty, and you go out, and your hair in the afro. Okay. And, it, and it, Jim used to make that punch a lot back then. Mm -hmm. Our house be packed from... The front door to the back door. Everybody will be there. Can't hang, get out. 
get out on the porch. That's right. Right, Denise. Dopey, here was a non-drinker and didn't didn't know the fruit had a mean left hook. Oh yeah, that fruit. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that was our favorite thing in oh. college. Get the freshmen to eat the fruit because mm. they didn't they didn't know. Oh, y'all did that. They didn't understand. Write a passage. I bet they told somebody <laughs> the next year don't eat the fruit. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Yeah, that fruit. And it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. But mm -mm. it's so good. You just eat it. Oh, and it's soaked. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I had a friend, you know, for the holidays, she would always, she do a, a, a big gallon jar and just soak fruit in it and pour the alcohol in it and just, uh, and then she would pour the alcohol off and serve up the fruit. She would fix it up pretty, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, she, she was bougie. She Whoa. would fix it up pretty, mm -hmm. but it'd be, it'd be soaked in that alcohol. You had to be careful with that. Real careful. Yeah, yeah. When my husband was young, he had a case of Boone's Farm Apple in the tr in the trunk of his car. Well, they broke. His mom was not a drinker. She smelled it and had a fit. <laughs> Riled him up him till she till she died till she died about that. Oh, she was upset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cherry soaked in 151. Woo! Denise, now Denise. Denise! <laughs> Denise, she a soldier. You see that? Woo! Denise, I used to make chocolate cover uh, cherries for Christmas and soak them in rum. Oh, that sounds funny. I made, I made some, I made uh, a batch for the kids, you know, that was just regular. But then I made some for the adults and I would soak them in rum. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I only gave them so many. And they would be mad. I want more. I want more. You got uh -uh. any more no. cherries? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you're only yes, getting no so more. many. That would sound great. Uh huh. But what Sandra, what you said, remind me of Jimmy's mother, because back in the day when Jimmy was drinking, and um, he had a '63 Volkswagen, and he loved that Volkswagen, uh, and he called it Old Blue, Old Blue. And he had the nerve one day to go by his mama's house, and he had been drinking. Mm. She got a stick. <laughs> what? And, yes. And, I mean, she didn't play. She, she would beat her children. They were grown. Mm -hmm. Beulah didn't play. You didn't bring no foolishness in her house. I told you don't be coming to my house when you been drinking. I, and she was beating at that car door. She said, you better not ever, ever come to my house like this again. I mean, it, it, it was a mess. He drove his butt off. He didn't he no, do that again. again. Man. Mm -mm. And his brother, Kenny, will tell you, he said, how was Kenny? He said, the last woman I got from mom, I was 30. Wow. <laughs> she did not play. Beulah didn't play. Beulah, she raised four kids on her own because her husband left her, mm -hmm. and uh, she wouldn't divorce him. She would. He moved to Knoxville, was living with another woman, and everything, but she still would not. She did her vows, mm -hmm. and she would not divorce him. Man, she, she till death do it one part, and that's what happened. He died first, but she would not divorce. But she raised those four kids, and she was on a. Uh, Made salary at Blunt Memorial Hospital. Man, she sure she raised did. Raised her kids, mm -hmm. raised some fun ones. She sure did. Mm -hmm. She did a good job. Yeah. But she's you don't bring no alcohol in my wow. house. But then as she got older, and mm -hmm. when everybody was grown, I say, Granny was in proper late seventies or eighties when she would let us bring a bottle of wine in there. She meddled out a mm -hmm. little bit, you know. Then we looked up, we had one little gathering, and we had something there, and somebody was praying, and she, she was trying to get the person's glass. Oh. <laughs> and get her a Just a little nip. Just a little nip. nip. But she would make, she made that cough, that cough medicine. Yeah, I remember you telling me. Uh, that. that you make out of moonshine with that hard rock candy and lemon or something. Mm -hmm. And she would only give it, be like, a little like that and she's tell you to heat it up 
And when we say, uh, grandmother, this ain't enough to do that. It's enough to knock that coal out, out of you. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. That's all you need to knock that coal out of you. And, and, and it, it did. Worked. It worked. Wow. But that tastes good. I would want more. Want a little, another little nip. Uh-uh. <laughs> a little nip. Uh-uh. Like a little nip. Granny didn't. She, wow. didn't. she didn't do that. She didn't give you no more. She said, this, this, <laughs> this is for medication. Yeah, this medication. is medication. Mm-hmm. No, never, never. I do not know how drunk is. I don't. <laughs> she took one. That's, that's, that's the first thing her daddy ever said to me. He's telling me a story, and he says, because you know how drunk he is. And I was like, what do what? I say to this man? Do I tell him I drink or I don't Why drink? Why did he say that? He was telling a story about some <laughs> drunk people doing something, and he asked me, because you know how drunk he is, right? <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. Sure. <laughs> I knew how drunk <laughs> was, but I wasn't going to tell somebody's no. daddy. And you just meet him? No. Yeah, I just met him. You know how drunk oh, he is. So no. she just put that in the chat. Like, I have no idea what drunk he is. Oh, oh, my goodness. Those old black fathers, they used to say, I mean, they come up with some strain <laughs> that make you go, should I answer this or should I mm -hmm. just keep my mouth shut? And they be looking so serious. Yeah. I was like, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> it it sounds like something my daddy would have said. You know that sounds like something is, my right? daddy would have said. Uh-huh. Uh, no, what, what? Why do you think I would never? <laughs> I would never. I would never. <laughs> Farmers, too. Drunk. No, not drunk, but sloppy. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, I went to college, so. <laughs> Yeah. I have done some things. But you know, we bless God and we thank him for That's the right. Amen. We I mean, we lived. all got a story. We all we got all something lived. to tell. We weren't just born. We're mm -hmm. still not perfect, you know, but right. we weren't born in the state we're in now. We all done been through stuff and things happen. Mm -hmm. Is it raining? Not yet. I don't think so. Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. These rains, y'all storm, y'all showers just come up. Uh huh. They just do. Come out. out of nowhere. Yes, we do, Lisa. We all have a story to tell. Uh, she got his social security. What, Denise? <laughs> She's talking about that lady, uh, um, Jimmy's mom, not divorcing. <laughs> 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 like, I got the last. Yeah, yeah I got the last. Yeah. And she, she knew, I mean, it was just unbelievable, but they were just different breed of women back mm -hmm. then. They, they, yeah. they, and and she and she carried herself. You know, my name is Mrs. Black. I mean, yeah, it, they was just woo stuff they took, and she had a hard time raising them poor kids. Mm -hmm. They saying that. <laughs> well, she did it though. Carter Lisa, said, "I am not being shot." <laughs> Are you no, being you're being shy because you said that. No. Oh. Farmers, too. Yeah, but uh, Never Never's daddy is a farmer. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. They they rough. They rough. They say what they want. Well, y'all, this rain is coming down good. Absolutely, oh, Denise. Oh, my grass going to love that. It is. LSP, the perfect saying is, I can drink with the best of them. Jimmy used to say that. <laughs> and another saying, I can quit drinking anytime I want. Anytime I want. I'm just not ready. Just not ready. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Because he did, didn't he? Yeah. When he was ready? Nah. He, ready. He, he wasn't ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hear you. I can tell you that story now because he ain't here. I wouldn't tell it while he was still here. Because I didn't want to hurt him, mm -hmm. you know, about that. But Jimmy never missed work. He worked for Delta Airlines, never missed work. But when he got out of work, he started drinking. So he had started in a lot of weight. And I thought, he, in my mind, I said, he getting ready to die. Because mm. Jimmy probably didn't weigh 130 pounds. Because he was drinking so much. He would drink until he just fall out at night. But then when it was time to get up to go to work, it's just like it was something in him that I got to get up and go to work, you know, and he'd go to work. Mm -hmm. Well, it was this one day he done 
went to Knoxville. Knoxville is stumping around them. And I've been out all night long and was late. And, and he came home and uh, he tried. No, how did he go? Wait a minute. No. He went to the airport and told me to bring his uniform out there. Because, you know, they wore the navy blue pants and had to wear the white shirt and the tie. Mm -hmm. and I, you know, the Delta colors. And I said, I'm not bringing you nothing. I am not bringing you nothing. Girl, you better bring my clothes out here. If you, if you don't, you know I lose my job. I said, I'm not bringing them. I said, uh, wherever you were at last night, tell them to bring it. You know, uh -huh. you know how we are. I did yes, that. Yes. And so, next thing I know, he came home and he got his clothes. Then he went back to the airport. Well, I went to work. Yeah, I went to work and I got a phone call like an hour or so later and his voice was sounding funny and i said what's wrong i'm at home i said did you get sick what happened he said no the supervisor sent me home i said the supervisor sent you home what they send you home for i went to sleep in the lobby and see where he done been out all night and he done sat out and he went to sleep and they could smell that alcohol on him and he said, the supervisor sent me home and told me that I had to wait until Atlanta, because that, that's the hood, mm -hmm. until, Atlanta, until the people in Atlanta called back and say whether I got my job or not. And if, if it goes to Atlanta, you don't get, you don't get no second chance. That's where Delta was. Mm -hmm. If it went to Atlanta, you just will forget it. Your job gone. Your job is gone. So he was a nervous wreck. He, he I mean, it scared him to mm -hmm. death. He's, and he, he was upset, crying, talking about what I'm gonna do. I done messed around and lost my job. And we gonna lose this house. We gonna lose everything we got. So that evening when they called, when he seen, came up on the call ID, Delta Airlines, when they called, he said, well, yeah, they, they gonna tell me I'm fired. And when this supervisor got on the phone, he said, uh, Jimmy, he said, this has never happened before. And he said, whoever been praying for you, you better thank them. Mm -hmm. Because uh, Atlanta said, if you go to rehab and you stay the whole six weeks in rehab, mm -hmm. that you can have your job back. So they have never, and that Delta would pay for you to go to rehab. Mm -hmm. And said the only reason they're doing that because of your un your outstanding work production. Mm -hmm. So you never miss work. You always here early. You always do your job. And they want to keep you. Wow. So you, you ever heard of St. Mary's Hospital in Knoxville? Mm -hmm. Well, they're not St. Mary's anymore. Mm -hmm. And back then it was St. Mary's. And they sent him there. Mm -hmm. They sent him there. And Jimmy went there. He did the whole program. We did our part that we have to do had to do. And since he went to St. Mary, he never had another never drink. Again. Never had another drink. Wow. Never had another drink. That brought him through. Mm -hmm. He was he was thankful. And after that, he 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 was saved. He became a deacon in the church. His mm -hmm. whole life changed. I mean completely. And I was still waiting. I would be nervous. I said, because I think the old Jimmy going to come back. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, I said, after a few months, he going to start back drinking. He going to be doing whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. Man. But he didn't. And, that, and that's when he really started getting in the garage, doing his woodwork. That's when it started growing. And the guys that he used to drink with would come by and... Uh, they were going, come on, man, come on and, and go get a drink with me. Come on, you know, let's go do this. He said, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. He said, but what I can do is share Jesus with you. Mm -hmm. They would they take off. Clear the shit. They would take wow. off. They would take off. And, and, uh, but a lot of them that he drank with, uh, by him witnessing to them, they became saved. They got saved. Mm -hmm. You know, they got saved. But once God Amazing. saved him and changed him, uh, Jimmy never did. He he didn't go back to it. Mm -hmm. He he never did. Then what about over twenty years ago? Because he smoked cigarettes, 
and he had been trying. He said, I don't want to quit smoking these things. I want to quit smoking them. And he couldn't do it. And so he got, what is it, that uh, medicine that they were taking me in? Shan was it Shan Shantex. Yeah, he tried. Mm -hmm. He took two of those. He took two. He said, I'm not taking this medication. He said, I'm going down here in the garage. That, that was his prayer room. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going down here and pray and ask the Lord to take this away from me. He said, I'm not taking this medication. And Jimmy went down there and prayed. He threw those pills away. Never had another cigarette. Man. Never had Taking another. Look at the power. Uh-huh. Look at the power. power. power uh-huh. Yeah. He never had. And uh, that's what I said. At Christmas time, he would make that punch for us. But that was the only time alcohol would be in the house. And it was for years before, you know, like we had family and friends come by that they could bring beer or something and put them in. It was year, it probably was 20 years or more before Jimmy would have let somebody do that. Then finally he said, well, I'm not going to drink it. it it's not going to bother me. He said, you do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You grown. You just do what you want to do. But he said, just remember where you're at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. that is amazing. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Now, how the piss I tell that story? I don't know how we got there. <laughs> I, don't I don't know that. how we got there. I don't that. know. But I'm going to end at this 208. Mm -hmm. And I told y'all my family business and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I don't think Jimmy would mind. I don't think he would mind because God delivered him from that drink. Yeah, and he brought him through it. And and I used to say, you know, he would go to the old clubs and stuff. And I said, well, um, you don't never take me to the club. Well, I'm, you know, I want to go to. That ain't no place for you. That's what he would say. That ain't no place for you. I said, but women be at the club. They be there just like, but that ain't the kind of woman I want to be with. Mm -hmm. I don't want my wife at the club. He used to tell me that all the time. Mm -hmm. Then he finally took me to the club and my feet stuck to the floor. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah. I had to pull my feet up. I said, why is my feet sticking to the floor? Well, they done spilled all them drinks. That's nasty. Yeah. He said, now you see. I was about to say, now you understand. <laughs> now you, you see why the they club. want you in the club. <laughs> wow. See, see, this ain't no place they for see, you. That's what he said. This ain't no, no place, place for you. you. Yeah. And, but it was women all around. He said, that's but, those. That's them. Like uh -huh. said, not uh -huh. you. I don't want no, my wife queen. in right. the club. And, and uh, I'm going I'm to yeah. end it on this one. Uh, who was I was talking to um, somebody about this yesterday. Oh, one of Jimmy's former friends that uh, he's a minister now. And when we introduced him to his wife mm -hmm. and uh, he called to check on me to see how I was doing. He said, and all at once he said, yeah, I remember Jimmy running from you. <laughs> I said, running from me? He, he didn't mean like running. Okay. You know. And then I understood what he meant. He, he fell out laughing. He said, yeah. He said he would get down in that woodwork and do stuff. He oh. said, but I said, yeah, and now I know what you're talking about, Milton. I said, yeah. they used to tell me back in the day that when Jimmy was in the club that he would be drinking, he'd get drunk. And they said, all at once, he would say, he would close one eye and do it like, who fired that shot? <laughs> and then he would say, gotta go, Beverly's calling me. <laughs> Hey, he'll close one eye and he'll say, who fired that shot? Gotta go. Beverly's calling me. And they said he would get up and leave. Wow. <laughs> me and Milton fell out laughing about that yesterday. Mm -hmm. Said, Lord, have mercy. Well, you know, we all been young. Yes. We've been young. We all got a story. But look at that. In yes, yes. All that God did. That's amazing. God saved him and God changed him. Because I never would have thought my husband would have been a deacon in the church, and let alone the chairman of the deacon board. Mm -hmm. My husband. But look at God. Yes, ma'am. So he can do it. I'm going to speak decree and declare over everybody now. And we're going to call it a day. It's 2-11. I enjoyed mm -hmm. y'all. I know I enjoyed it's been this so <laughs> It has. This has made my Oh, made my we've year. had a good time. Okay. I am courageous. I am unstoppable. I am love. I am blessed. I am gifted. I am anointed. I am successful. I am healed. I am healthy. 
I am beautiful. I am whole. I am confident. I am forgiven. I am grateful. I am generous. I am strong. I am courageous. And I just went away from... <laughs> I just said it. Hold on. There, there it is. I am generous. I am strong. I am favored. I am able. I am powerful. I am fruitful. I am God's masterpiece. Even if you don't think I am, but I am. I am God's masterpiece. Amen. You are God's masterpiece because our God does not make any junk. And you're all made in the image of God. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Why? Because you are his masterpiece. And you do have a story to tell. Don't be ashamed of your story. We all came from something. We all came from that dust, and we're going back to the dust. But in between, we have a story. So let your story be told. Let people know how God changed you and what God did for you and how God brought you out and God brought you to where you are today. You had to have, you had to go through something in order to get where you are. I love you. Everybody have a blessed and prosperous weekend. And LSP loves you too. <laughs> uh, See there? That's one for you at uh, Quarters. Yes. We love you too, baby girl. Bye-bye, yeah. everyone. Bye. Bye. That was good. <laughs>